So as a kid, I really, really liked to write. Like that was my one and only passion. I wanted to become like the next J.K. Rowling. That's what I always <laughs> told my parents. My housemates, I live with one of my best friends. And she came home and she told me that a friend of hers had told her about NFTs, basically. The first thing I thought was, oh, I, I'm going to start a PFP project like this. So we actually right. started creating the red panda that we have right now in mm -hmm. all these different kinds of like, shapes and forms, right? So we made him as Harry Potter, as Gandalf, as like a Star Wars creature and so on, because we thought, okay, that's playing with two different things. We got like the animal and we have all these super nerdy movies and games. And As I was working on that in the background, like I thought, okay, what can I do to already start building like an audience or something? So I started my, doing my daily NFT show, but doing that after like, I think after 12 days, Red Lion News reached out to me. They were like, hey, um, we want to like sponsor the show or be part of this. So they basically offered me like a job. And that's how I started rolling more and more into NFTs. I was like, okay, this is interesting. I'm not sure what I'm doing with my own project, but I'm learning a lot. Um, I have my agency to run, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm just going to try. The thing is then when I started doing the NFT show and working with Red Lion, obviously I started seeing all these other projects and I realized that what we were doing was probably not going to work. Like I felt like, okay, I'm, me, I was using... I'm working together, I still am, with a graphic design that was already on my team in my graphic design agency. And I was like, this is not, like, there's not enough story here. And mm -hmm. I want to do more. And then at some point, I thought back about that childhood dream. And I was like, okay, maybe I can actually write a book that is basically connected to everything that we're doing. One day we just made this red panda in this kimono outfit. And then I was like, that that should be the base. That's mm -hmm. him. That's the character. And started thinking about it more and more. And then eventually that rolled into Tales of Ronin and thinking like, okay, maybe we can actually write a book where we do create the world, but anybody who steps in gets a say in how the story evolves. 